Hello and welcome to another SonicWall video tutorial. My name is MG Sriramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, SonicWall. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use digital certificates in WAN Group VPN and Global VPN Client Connections. Using digital certificates for authentication instead of pre-shared keys in a VPN configuration is more secure. These are the steps to configure client-to-site VPN connections using digital certificates. Import VPN certificate into the Sonic Wall. Configure WAN Group VPN to use certificates. Import VPN certificate into the Global VPN client. Configure the Global VPN client to use certificates. Test the configuration by connecting the Global VPN client. I have here two certificates with their private keys. This here is a certificate to be imported into the Sonic Wall and then to be used in WAN Group VPN. This is a 2048-bit certificate. The key usage has digital signature, non-repudiation, and key encipherment. And this is a certificate to be imported into the global VPN client. This too is a 2048-bit certificate and has the same key usage as the other certificate. The certificate has been issued to a particular user. Its subject alternative name is the email address of the user. This here is a certificate of the CA which issued the certificates. I have combined the public and private key of each certificate to create two PKCS12 format certificate with an extension of PFX. To be able to import a certificate with its private key, SonicWall requires the certificate to be in PKCS12 format. Let us now configure WAN Group VPN in the SonicWall. I am logged into the management interface of the SonicWall and have navigated to the System Certificates page. Click on the Import button. Here, keep the radio button selected under Import a local end-user certificate with private key. Enter a name for this certificate. We will call it WAN Group VPN. Enter the password which was set when creating the PFX file. And click on Browse. Select the file server.pfx. Click on Import. You can see the imported certificate here. The certificate is not yet validated because we haven't imported its uh, CA certificate. Click on Import. Set the radio button to import a CA certificate. Click on Browse. Select the CA certificate and click on Import. You can see the certificate is now validated. Let us now configure the WAN Group VPN settings. I am in the VPN settings page. Enable the checkbox under Enable VPN. Click on the Configure button under WAN Group VPN. Set the authentication method to IKE using third-party certificates. Under Peer ID type, we can select Distinguished Name or Email ID or Domain Name. This is the Distinguished Name of the Client Certificate and can be written like this. Or we could enter a part of the Distinguished Name like this or specify the common name of the certificate. We can also use wildcard characters like this. ID type of email address or domain name must be used only if the certificate has a subject alternative name field. For email address, it must have RFC 822 name equals and the email address. For domain name, it must have DNS name equals and the domain name. For this video, we set the type as email ID and then enter star at kb-soniclab.local. This would allow any certificate with an email address ending with that domain name. Let us keep the settings under the Proposals and the Advanced tab to default. Under Client tab, set the Virtual Adapter settings to DHCP lease and set Allow Connections to as Split Tunnels. Click on OK to save the settings. Now go to the DHCP over VPN page. Here, under Central Gateway, click on Configure. Enable Use Internal DHCP Server. And then Enable for Global VPN Client. And click on OK. We have set Global VPN Clients to obtain dynamic IP addresses from the SonicWall DHCP Server. So make sure the SonicWall DHCP Server is enabled and has a dynamic lease. Next, let us create users for the VPN connection. In the Local Users page, click on Add User. Enter a username and password. 
click on the VPN access tab. Add X0 subnet to the access list. Click on OK. Under Users Settings, I have set the authentication method to local users. Let us now configure the global VPN client settings. I am on a Windows PC with SonicWall Global VPN Client software installed. Open Global VPN Client. Under View at the top, select Certificates. Click on the Import button. Select Client.pfx. Enter the password set while creating the PFX file. The certificate has been imported, but you can see it says the certificate chain is not complete. This is because we haven't imported the CA certificate. Select Trusted Root CA and click on Import. Select the CA certificate. Go to the User Certificates view. You can see it says the certificate is valid. Let us now create a VPN connection. Enter the IP address or domain name of the Sonic Wall. Click on Finish. Now enable the connection. You'll be asked to select the certificate to be used for this connection. Select the client certificate we imported and click on OK. Enter the username and password for the user we created earlier. And we are connected. This concludes this video on how to use digital certificates in Vangroup VPN and Global VPN Client Connections.